This week's video is produced by Thomas Friend. The main character in the movie is obsessed with retro pop culture and even collects memorabilia from the 80s as a hobby. One day he gets a package in the mail and this causes his hobby to become an obsession. He gets obsessed with an artifact and goes on a scavenger hunt to find it. This sounds fun, except it's totally not and it's actually dangerous. An evil company is after the artifact and will kill anyone that gets in their way, including the main character. Their strength in numbers, so during his journey, the main guy makes a couple of friends. The ragtag team includes the girl he has a crush on. He's like a boy's bathroom and sucks when it comes to getting close to women. His best friend gives him advice on what he should and shouldn't say to the lady he loves. Meanwhile, when he's not too busy worrying about his love life, he's busy trying to crack the case of the missing artifact. His biggest clue is the genius in the picture on his wall. The two guys in the photo were once best friends, but their relationship got split in half when one of the guys stole the other guy's girlfriend. That bros before hoes motto is something you only hear about in fairy tales. His breadcrumbs lead him to the building with the archives. The archives are like a map that leads to the next clue. At this point, they're one step closer than anyone has ever gotten to finding the long lost item. The guy with the silver Skeletor mask costume follows them, and unfortunately, the evil CEO of the evil company follows him, which leads them to the missing item as well. The team starts connecting the dots like an episode of Blue's Clues. One of them almost dies during the mission where the ground beneath their feet collapses block by block. The evil company gets desperate and uses corporate negotiating tactics to get their way and offers one of the team members a job with full medical and dental insurance. It works for a little bit, but the good guy comes to his senses and turns them down. They should have took the offer, instead they get arrested. One of the teammates gets away, but the other one is left to rot inside of a jail cell. Eventually the character gets an out of jail free card. The main character's rivalry with the company has made him a celebrity, and everyone that walks up to him gets starstruck. The fame doesn't go to his head. He just wants to do the right thing like the Spike Lee joint. Fast forward to the end, and the bad guy has the hero's friend held captive. The bad guy has a bomb. When assembled together correctly, the game child makes a nuclear bomb. A bomb kills every avatar on the planet. The villain gives him an ultimatum. His friend's life versus everybody else's life. I think it's an easy decision just based off of the numbers involved. But the main character isn't good at math. The hero ignores them and plays a video game to enter a cheat code to unlock a special Easter egg. When he's interrupted by his rival, he gets pissed off and fights him. The fight ends when the hero kicks his rival in the balls. The game is blown up by the explosion and this pisses off the bad guy. But what pisses off the bad guy the most is the fact that the company's stock price goes lower than a DCEU Rotten Tomato score after the CEO gets arrested. The audience is surprised as hell when the movie wraps up because we get a Simon Pegg cameo no one saw coming. I just met Simon Pegg! <laughs> Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>